I was born into a family where my dad was an alcoholic and my mum was doing drugs and selling drugs. It wasn't until I was a teenager that I realised the life I was living wasn't normal and it was very dangerous. For being born into a family where my mum was selling drugs and dealing drugs from a very young age it meant neglect, anxiety and fear. No stability. Nothing in my life felt normal. I was unsecure and was difficult to express my true feelings. Um, Shana was all right when she was a baby, a funny little baby, because um, she didn't realise what was going on. Her dad was in jail when Shana was young, so I had a lot to do with Shana. Uh, and as she got older, she realised what her mother was doing and she retaliated and then she came to me all the time but then when she fell pregnant her mother did little babies till we were about a year old and then she doesn't want to know and then yell it loud back into their life and since then Shauna's like she went down the wayward road with her mother uh, and then when I found out about it when all this came to light with the children and I took the children and then social services got involved. Like I said, it was monkey see, monkey do. I always said to myself as a child, I would never touch alcohol or drugs. This is something I did not stick to, and first took my first drug at the age of 17. I turned to drugs because I didn't realise I was any other way. I wanted to join the club, and I thought that would take away the pain. It wasn't long after taking amphetamine, I realised it was making us more depressed and I had took control of my life. I had joined in being a clown. At that time I knew I was trapped. It wasn't until I went to court and I lost my kids that I realised that drugs was no good for anyone. came home to look at a big bag of pills. It was either take them or flush them. And I chose to flush them as my kids were worth a lot more to us. It was then when I realised that I couldn't keep going on like this. So I rang NRP for help, soon after I was working with recovery. It may not feel like it at the time, but there is hope and there is help. I took drugs, but I am here because I managed to kick the habit. Now I'm living a normal life with my kids and my family, being truthful and having days out, feeling confident and having my own energy. I feel much healthier and better this day than what I did when I took amphetamine. Now she's interacting and she's back mingling with her family and she's which is just totally different. If I can help in any way, then I will.